India also has the Gaganyaan program, which is to launch an Indian astronaut from Indian soil on an Indian rocket. And I see uh, your contribution on the Gaganyaan program. So how is Larson and Tubro contributing towards India's astronaut effort? In fact, the absolute first, since we've been building the PSLV as well as the GSLV hardware, the GSLV hardware for Gaganyan had to be what is called the human rated. Yes. Now the reliability has to be much higher. Much higher reliability, much, much superior tolerances. True. Now, this is precisely was the first activity and the hardware, which as it is, we know that the, if you are producing a space launch vehicle, the tolerance on the diameter of this vehicle all over the entire volume of or uh, the entire surface, the accuracies are in, uh, better than virtually out of circularity, better than 10, 20 microns. Wow. Now, <clears throat> to do even better than that is not something so very easy. But at the same time, so, sometimes when you challenge yourself, you come out with better methods. So indeed, this has been accomplished. The boosters we handed over in peak of COVID in 2020 for uh, Gaganyaan. Of course, the uh, capsule related, lot of work today is happening, heat shield related, lot of activity which is today going on. And hopefully, we will be all those early experiments to gain reliability because there are multiple launches which are being done. Some have happened, some are in uh, pipeline now. And the testing phase is still Testing phase is still on. I would say more of qualification saying that do we attain the kind of a reliability which is needed two missions going without any glitches in a perfect what is expected as per the copy book if that when that happens the third one will carry people sure, sure, sure. no no the expectation is high that somewhere 2024 and early 2025 we may have provided all the tests go in succession and correctly and precisely Otherwise, why risk people? Absolutely. I mean, we are in no hurry. Absolutely. 2003 was the last nation or to join Astronaut today, League. Today, in terms of one more launch, if it is required to be scheduled, the launch schedules, if one looks at today, the way they are getting scheduled, another six months, there would be yet another launch to prove the same thing. So, it's no longer a scenario like if one launch goes bad, you go back in terms of time by one year, two year, three years. It's now we are talking of months. Sure. Now, while we are talking of astronauts, let me also ask you, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and uh, President Joe Biden uh, announced together that an Indian astronaut will go to the International Space Station. As somebody, I call you a space faring person because you are in the business of industry of space. Do you welcome that move, which is to send an Indian in space on an American ship to the International Space Station? To my mind, it still makes sense for a very simple reason that a long term stay, what it will do, uh, as India, we still don't know that because our Chandrayaan is not a long term stay. Second, when we send our own person, what all happens beyond just a long term stay would be in terms of varieties of experiments or the space manufacturing related part, which any of these space stations do. There would be a far uh, valuable kind of uh, uh, information that would come out. There's also commercial ventures when we, people are being talking uh, talking now to take a module onto the full pleasure that kind of a uh, uh, setup or have entirely your own uh, system. Now the whole concept of the collaboration which is coming in and that's where in G20 it becomes extremely relevant to talk of collaboration. We see that uh, we will still need some amount of collaboration or to collaborate with some of the more advanced nations in terms of moving forward. At the same time, handhold lot many other countries who today want to be where India is. So it's both ways collaboration, which is what we hear. India so, 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 so do, would you say it is a win-win that while we wait for our Gagan knots to go up from Indian soil, in between, we have a launch of an Indian astronaut because you also learn not just an astronaut going, you need the whole team which is there will around, the, around the astronaut to send the astronaut into space. We learn all that and also also get a hands wet after 1984. Absolutely. Is that is that a good move? I think it's a good move. 
because uh, the entire ecosystem associated with putting a man in the outer space essentially will probably get created so so you think that spending of that which is approximately 200 crores on sending an astronaut is return on investment is good I, in terms of longer run uh, i believe so because this is a sector if one only starts looking at returns which are immediate space is not the sector to be in space sector can never be counted in roi in short term space sector is something which provides roi on very very long term imagine a situation which we all in our own lives have seen india which did not have a satellite television connectivity and within months we had thousands of satellite channels now this complete change happened simply because we had the right uh, kind of devices which are available 